Hello everyone, welcome to another one of Kingston Library's Virtual Steampunk Clubs. My name's Cass and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY lava lamp. So this is a really simple, fun experiment you can do with stuff that you probably already have at home. It really relies on the concept of density with oil and water um, and creates all kinds of interesting bubbles and effects. So we're going to have a bit of a play around with that today. Here's what you're going to need. You are going to need some oil. I'm using peanut oil, but you can use any kind of vegetable oil, whatever kind of suits you. You're going to need some water. You're going to need a jar. It can be any size you like. I'm using a small one. Uh, you'll need some food coloring of your choice. So you can make any kind of color you want. And you'll need some kind of effervescent tablets like the Alka-Seltzer there. Um, something that'll fizz and release gas. So. We're going to start by pouring some water into our jar. Probably about a quarter of the jar should be water. And then we are going to pour in our oil. I'm going to pour that right up to the top of the jar here. Now you'll see that because water is much denser, much heavier than the oil, the water is all, all stays at the bottom and the oil has separated there it kind of floats to the top all right the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some drops of food coloring we're going to use our blue food coloring and see how that goes now you'll notice that when you drop the food coloring in it doesn't necessarily sink to the bottom straight away but it is going it's going pretty fast um, and once we add our kind of gaseous element you'll see how that changes. So you can kind of see with our sample previous lava lamps we've gotten here, they've been sitting there for probably about a day already. So they're not doing quite the same thing anymore once you add, oh, here we go. Um, once you add the Alka-Seltzer tablets, but you will notice that the more, you can still get them to work. So all you need to do is drop in another tablet and then they will be, they'll just keep on going. So you can kind of see that one fizzing away just there. So we're gonna try it with another one here. You don't need to put in a full tablet, probably like half a tablet, a quarter of a tablet is fine. And obviously it's gonna look a little bit different when the food dye hasn't sunk into the water yet, but we're gonna give it a go. And it's a bit fun to experiment at home and see what kind of different reactions you get depending on how much food dye you've put in, where you've put it in, the colors, how long you've left it to go. But you can see that's making quite an interesting set of colors and bubbles already. So we really look forward to seeing what you do with your DIY lava lamps at home. You can always send us a photo. We'd love to see it. And if you'd like to check out any more of our science or craft activities, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always adding more content there. So there's lots of stuff for you to check out. All right, everyone, have a great day and have fun with your science at home.